Today we're going to show you how to change over a roll of film on one of our Avatar vertical form fill seal machines. This is our A1200 Plus and it's going to be a little easier since it's a nice short machine. So before you start any changeover cleaning or maintenance procedures, you want to make sure to hit the emergency stop on your machine as well as a safety disconnect. So turn the safety disconnect to the left and then make sure to follow your company's lockout tagout procedures. There's a couple of holes here and to put a lock. And also turn off the air. There's also a lockout tagout spot if your company requires a lockout tagout procedure. So the first thing we need to do is remove our existing roll of film. This machine has a splicing table, which makes it very easy to do so. So this is our splicing table assembly, and this keeps the film in place as we go to switch over from one roll to the next. You'll see these four levers. The down position, they're unlocked, and the up position, they're locked. Now that we're locked down and holding the film in place, we can cut it right along the groove. Make sure to wear Kevlar gloves and use all proper safety equipment and gear while slicing and using a sharp knife. Now that the film is locked down using our splicing table, we can cut the film right along the groove. The first thing we need to do is raise the web out sensor. We have a thumb knob up here, you pull out, lift it up, and it'll click into position. Now that that's raised, we can unlock the splicing table on the bottom portion and begin to wind our film up. It's always a good idea to have a piece of masking tape or painter's tape ready for when you get to the end of the roll. Wind it nice and slow, keeping tension. The next thing we need to do before removing the film spindle is mark where our film locks are and this will help you keep centered if you're switching over to the same width of film that you just had on the machine. To loosen the film locks, we're gonna turn the hand levers counterclockwise and we can slide each one out. All right, so now I'm gonna lock one side down and remove the film spindle from the cam followers. Now that that's loose, we can take off one side of the film lock Grab our roll of film. Now we're ready to install our new roll of film on the film spindle. And we also need to put the other film lock on. Note the flat groove here without the scale. That's where you want the lock to meet the shaft. So right now I'm just going to put it in loosely. And now you can see we're not centered, so we need to center our roll. All right, so now that we have it close to centered here, we're going to lock down one side. Now we got to make it tight. So you want to grab a rubber mallet and hit it right against the film lock. tighten it up. So now that we have the roll centered, I have 10 and a half inches here and 10 and a half inches on the other side, we're ready to start the winding process of the film. So each machine has a film threading diagram on the side of the unwind assembly and it's also in your manual. Grab the tail of the film and we're going to go down our lower roller. Be sure not to confuse the lower roller with the lower support rod. So down around the lower roller, up past the web out sensor. You'll see we add another roller here. Come through the small support rod and the roller before the splicing table. And then up underneath. So I kind of had the film folded over in a V just to make it easier to thread through. So let's pull that whole V out of here. Now that we have it in place, we can lock it down. Now that we have our roll of film back on the machine and up to the splicing table, we can lower our web out sensor arm just with that little thumb pull knob again. 
it'll click into, into position. And now we're going to be good to cut right along this line. Now, as you can see on the splicing table, our two rolls of film are going to meet up. And we'll put a piece of packaging tape right over the top of that. So now we're going to join the two pieces of film just with a piece of clear packaging tape. Might be helpful to have another set of hands around for this. We want to avoid as many wrinkles as possible. A couple small ones is okay, any large ones might cause some issues. Now that we've joined our existing film with our new film, we need to advance the new film all the way up through the forming collar and to the vertical and horizontal seals. To do so, we're going to start by unlocking the film splicing table again. So now we're going to turn our air back on and we can go around to the HMI to advance the film. Alright, so the first thing we want to do is pull our e-stop and hit reset. Next we'll go into our drives menu and we can jog the film until the new roll of film makes its way up to the end seal. Keep jogging our film until we see the new clear film make its way through to the vertical seal and past the end seal. You want to make sure to gather up the slack at the bottom here as well. Here comes our new film. Now that we're past the end seal, we can stop advancing the film. Now that we have the new film in place, we can make an empty bag. Looks like we'll need another one or two just to get it into position. Looks like we could use about one more bag. It looks like we have a good end seal on both sides along with our vertical seal and we're ready to begin filling our new bags. Thank you for watching our video on how to change over a roll of film with the A1200 Plus. I hope you learned about the benefit of adding a slicing table to your avatar. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to info at allfill.com.